Hey everybody, thanks for tuning into Game Informer. I'm your host, Alex Van Aken, today joined by Marcus Stewart, who wrote our Bayonetta 3 cover story in the magazine this month. Today we've got some exclusive Viola gameplay to break down. Uh, Marcus is going to be walking us through everything we're seeing today. Marcus, how you doing? I'm doing great. Better than DC Mungulai at the moment. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you wrote our, our cover story. Uh, you got to play this section, didn't you, as well? I did. This is not my gameplay. This is B-roll. But um, yes, I did play this entire section. Awesome. Or at so, least a, I guess a section of it, I should say. A section of the section. Sure, sure. So people got kind of like the the basics of what's new in Bayonetta 3 in our uh, video before this one. Uh, what's up with Viola? So Viola, the new uh, playable character, or at least the second one, uh, she is a, an Umbra Witch in training. And one of the big differences, or I guess there's several big differences between her and Bayonetta. So because she's a trainee witch, uh, she has, it's weird to say that she has uh, less at her disposal, but that's kind of the case. So it sounds like a negative, right? Because one of the things is that she can't use a variety of weapons the way Bayonetta can. She can only use her katana, as we saw, um, instead of having pistols. She uh, uses throwing knives as her projectile. Mm -hmm. And she can also summon uh, Cheshire, which is her demonic cat companion who uh, you might have noticed pop up there a little bit earlier. And yeah, one of the things I've noticed playing with her uh, is that she's not quite as quick as Bayonetta. Like she's still fast, but like her attacks feel just a little bit more deliberate, a little bit more uh, measured. And that's because she sort of lacks the finesse that Bayonetta has, but she's also like just insanely strong. Like she kind of has a lot of like untapped potential. Yeah. So she's kind Another of a... She, can she no, do like the demon masquerade beast within stuff? Or she's traveling or traveling around uh, in a different form or is um her current form like her only form she can utilize uh as far as i know she cannot do demon masquerade in fact she can do demon slave which is you know what she's yeah. doing now by summoning cheshire but she can't control cheshire directly like bayonetta can again because of her inexperience so when you summon cheshire he just goes off on his own and just attacks uh enemies independently uh, but the benefit of that is that unlike Bayonetta, since Cheshire is his own uh, entity, you can still you can move uh, around. Yeah, and you can actually fight enemies together. So you're still That's controlling cool. Viola. And if you want to go over and help Cheshire out, you guys can just double team some dudes. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And there's uh, a awesome. Luca there, a buddy. Hanging out in a volcano as you do. Wearing a he's coat. glistening. I, he's always glistening, you know. If you've played enough of these games, that's just kind of, they call him a glistening Luca Redgrave. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I've um, heard that. Yeah. One of the uh, other uh, big things with Viola is that uh, her witch time is very different. So instead of dodging to activate witch time, she blocks with her sword and it's mapped to okay. the other R button because normally you would hit the right trigger to do witch time with Bayonetta. For Viola, it's a right bumper and it's it tripped me up a lot just because i'm so trained hit the trigger but it's got a the timing is a little bit more forgiving but uh you'll have to block and time it like right before you get hit to do which time so again kind of focusing on her power you know she's like okay i'll just stop this with brute force instead of dodging and viola can still dodge it just doesn't have any like effect tied to it okay sure sure yeah so we saw there some of the sillier stuff with the uh, cannonball thing. I wrote about that in the cover story. And I think stuff like that kind of highlights uh, Bayola, uh, Bayola, Viola's uh, personality of like being a lot, I guess, sillier, a little bit more, like just definitely not as perfect as Bayonetta. Again, she's not a full-fledged Umber Witch yet, so she's not as sure of herself. She makes a lot of mistakes. She just has a much um, more sort of scatterbrained uh, vibe about her, whereas, you know, this, it's kind of by design to contrast her with Bayonetta, who is basically good at everything forever, you know? Yeah, <laughs> kind of the point. <laughs> yeah, but I, I kind of like that. I like that contrast between the two characters. And I also like uh, playing with Viola. I was a little like unsure of myself the first time I got uh, hands on. I was like, oh, does she feel basic compared to Bayonetta? But as I kind of played more and more and got to this part, I was like, okay, she's pretty fun. And I like the differences that she brings. So I'm excited to see how she evolves throughout the uh, adventure. Yeah, now can uh, Cheshire, can he 
uh, go on demon rampage and stuff if it gets damaged too too much? I don't know. I want to say yes, but I'm not sure yet. We uh, I wasn't confirmed, or I hadn't confirmed that with Capcom or Capcom, sure. with Platinum. Um, so possibly, but I'm gonna. I think I'm leaning on the no side. It seems like her and Cheshire have a pretty tight relationship, but. That's that's my sort of conjecture. It would also be nice to, like, if that was the differ differentiated Viola from Bayonetta's uh, abilities in this game. Yeah, like if that's the only demon she can summon, I'm like Bayonetta who can just pull in a roster. Maybe that makes them closer because of that, because she can only yeah. rely on Cheshire. So yeah, but yeah, don't take that as gospel fans. I, I'm not sure for sure. <laughs> to be determined. Yeah, I, I like uh, what Cheshire brings to the table there. I you see there just him doing butt stomps and weird claw strikes. Like he, I, I like his design too. He just looks, he just looks cool. He just looks like anime Cheshire cat from Alice in Wonderland. Just this like yeah. nightmarish, but also weirdly adorable looking creature. <laughs> I could, I can already see the plushes. Yes. Oh, they're already in the they're already in the truck. They're on their way to the stores. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks for joining me today, Marcus. Anything else um, on Viola before we get out of here? Uh, no. I like I said I would just say you know she seems pretty fun so far. I'm excited to see how she uh, her move set evolves when you uh, you you know unlock abilities with her skill tree. And yeah, it, she seems pretty pretty solid so far. I'm, Awesome. Well, thank you everybody out there for watching this quick little video. Uh, we've got more Bandit of Three videos coming, so stay tuned to youtube.com slash Game Informer. Uh, just to set expectations, we have three videos in total. Uh, we've got um, the, the video that went up before this one on everything new in Bandit of Three. We've got this exclusive Viola gameplay breakdown. And then we'll have a more traditional new gameplay today featuring uncut footage from Bayonetta's section. So uh, yeah, a lot to look forward to. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe if you're new around here. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.